The Potala Palace is a Dezong fortress in Lhasa, capital of the Tibet Autonomous Region in China. It was the Winter Palace of the Dalai Lamas from 1649 to 1959, has been a museum since then, and a World Heritage Site since 1994. The palace is named after Mount Potlaka, the mythical abode of the Bodhisattva of Lokiteswara. The fifth Dalai Lama started its construction in 1645 after one of his spiritual advisors, Kochop Chofil, pointed out that the site was ideal as a seat of government, situated as it is between Drepung and Sera monasteries and the old city of Lhasa. It may overlie the remains of an earlier fortress called the White or Red Palace on the site, built by Songtsen Gampo in 637. The building measures 400 meters east-west and 350 meters north-south, with sloping stone walls averaging 3 meters thick and 5 meters thick at the base, and with copper poured into the foundations to help proof it against earthquakes. Thirteen stories of buildings, containing over 1,000 rooms, 10,000 shrines and about 200,000 statues, so 117 meters on top of Marpuri, the Red Hill, rising more than 300 meters in total above the valley floor. Tradition has it that the three main hills of Lhasa represent the three protectors of Tibet. Chokpori, just to the south of the Potala, is the sole mountain of Vajrapani, Pongwari that of Manjushri, and Malpori, the hill on which the Potala stands, represents Avlokiteswara. The site on which the Potala Palace rises is built over a palace erected by Songtsen Gampo on the Red Hill. The Potala contains two chapels on its northwest corner that conserve parts of the original building. One is the Fakpal Hakhang, the other the Chogyal Drupuk, a recessed cavern identified as Songtsen Gampo's meditation cave. Lozen Gyatso, the great fifth Dalai Lama, started the construction of the modern Potala Palace in 1645 after one of his spiritual advisors, Kochok Chofil, died 1646, pointed out that the site was ideal as a seat of government, situated as it is between Drepung and Sera monasteries and the old city of Lhasa. The external structure was built in three years, while the interior, together with its furnishings, took 45 years to complete. The Dalai Lama and his government moved into the Potran Karpo, White Palace, in 1649. Construction lasted until 1694, some 12 years after his death. The Potala was used as a winter palace by the Dalai Lama from that time. The Potran Marpo, Red Palace, was added between 1690 and 1694. The new palace got its name from a hill on Cape Kamrin at the southern tip of India, a rocky point sacred to the Bodhisattva of Compassion, who is known as Avlokiteswara or Chenreji. The Tibetans themselves rarely speak of the sacred place as the Potala, but rather as Peak Potala or most commonly as the Peak. The palace was moderately damaged during the Tibetan uprising against the Chinese in 1959, when Chinese shells were launched into the palace's windows. Before Chando Jampa Kaldane was shot and taken prisoner by soldiers of the People's Liberation Army, he witnessed Chinese cannon shells began landing on Norbulinka past midnight on 19 March 1959. The sky lit up as the Chinese shells hit the Chapuri Medical College and the Potala. It also escaped damage during the Cultural Revolution in 1966 through the personal intervention of Zhu Enlai, who was then the Premier of the People's Republic of China. According to Tibetan historian Zaring Wosa, the palace, which harbored over 100,000 volumes of scriptures and historical documents and many storerooms for housing precious objects, handicrafts, paintings, wall hangings, statues, and ancient armor was almost robbed empty. The Potala Palace was inscribed to the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1994. In 2000 and 2001, Jokhang Temple and Norbulinka were added to the list as extensions to the sites. Rapid modernization has been a concern for UNESCO, however, which expressed concern over the building of modern structures immediately around the palace which threatened the palace's unique atmosphere.
The Chinese government responded by enacting a rule barring the building of any structure taller than 21 meters in the area. UNESCO was also concerned over the materials used during the restoration of the palace, which commenced in 2002 at a cost of 180 million renminbi, 22.5 million US dollars, although the palace's director, Kyang Ba Jesang, has clarified that only traditional materials and craftsmanship were used. The palace has also received restoration works between 1989 and 1994, costing 55 million renminbi, 6.875 million US dollars. The number of visitors to the palace was restricted to 1,600 a day, with opening hours reduced to 6 hours daily to avoid overcrowding from 1st May 2003. The palace was receiving an average of 1,500 a day prior to the introduction of the quota, sometimes peaking to over 5,000 in one day. Visits to the structure's roof were banned after restoration efforts were completed in 2006 to avoid further structural damage. Visitorship quotas were raised to 2,300 daily to accommodate a 30% increase in visitorship since the opening of the Kingzheng Railway into Lhasa on 1 July 2006, but the quota is often reached by mid-morning. Opening hours were extended during the peak period in the months of July to September, where over 6,000 visitors would descend on the site. In February 2022, Tibetan pop star Sevang Norbu set himself on fire in front of the Potala Palace and died. The Foreign Ministry of China has disputed this. Built at an altitude of 3,700 meters, on the side of Ri Marpo, Red Mountain, in the center of Lhasa Valley, the Potala Palace, with its vast inward sloping walls broken only in the upper parts by straight rows of many windows, and its flat roofs at various levels, is not unlike a fortress in appearance. At the south base of the rock is a large space enclosed by walls and gates, with great porticos on the inner side. A series of tolerably easy staircases, broken by intervals of gentle ascent, leads to the summit of the rock. The whole width of this is occupied by the palace. The central part of this group of buildings rises in a vast quadrangular mass above its satellites to a great height, terminating in gilt canopies similar to those on the Jokhang. This central member of Potala is called the Red Palace from its crimson color, which distinguishes it from the rest. It contains the principal halls and chapels and shrines of past Dalai Lamas. There is in these much rich decorative painting, with jeweled work, carving and other ornamentation. The lower white frontage on the south side of the palace was used to hoist two gigantic thangkas joined representing the figures of Tara and Shakyamuni during the Sertring festival on the 30th day of the second Tibetan month. The Chinese Putuo Zongqing Temple, also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, built between 1767 and 1771, was in part modelled after the Potala Palace. The palace was named by the American television show Good Morning America and newspaper USA Today as one of the new seven wonders. The nine-story Leh Palace in Leh, Ladakh, India built by King Senj Namagyal, c. 1570-1642, was a precursor of the Potala Palace. Lhasa Jhol village has two stone pillars or rado rings, an interior stone pillar or doreng nangma, which stands within the village fortification walls, and the exterior stone pillar or Doreng Chima, which originally stood outside the south entrance to the village. Today the pillar stands neglected to the east of the Liberation Square, on the south side of Beijing Avenue. The Doreng Chima dates as far back as circa 764, or only a little later, and is inscribed with what may be the oldest known example of Tibetan writing. The pillar contains dedications to a famous Tibetan general and gives an account of his services to the king including campaigns against China which culminated in the brief capture of the Chinese capital Chang'an, modern Ilevenin, in 763 during which the Tibetans temporarily installed as emperor a relative of Princess Zincheng Gongzhu, Kim Sheng Kongko, the Chinese wife of Trizom Detson's father, Mi Aksim. Please like and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.